Cammy. So Cammy was living behind the antique centre oh. with her babies. She was a stray. So there's kittens in there. So no, there's no kittens now. One kitten survived, the other kitten didn't. So they've got oh, mum and two. kitten. Yeah. So I'm walking the dogs with one attached to me. Um, because the grounds are not completely secure. The boys are exploring. I've bolted the gate onto the main road, onto the main road, so they can't get to there. And I've told Harry just to keep his brother away from the pond, which is over there. So that's the pond you need to be careful of, okay? There's um teeny tiny baby moor hens on there, little really tiny ones. If you look, they're little black things. Um, anyway. The dogs are coming for a walk with me. Goodness, you're chaotic. Um, we're going to go and feed the animals. And now all I've done is managed to tangle up dogs. It's such a shame that the garden isn't completely secure for them because it would be nice to just let them off. Oh, right, I found a hose pipe. It's going to make life a lot easier. I just need to get it closer to where I'm going to be. And there's no way of turning it off. Oh, God, this is such a big hose pipe. There's no way of turning it off either. Well, there is, but then I've got to walk all the way back to try and sort that out. So, this is what I'm doing now. Right. Right. Hopefully, it won't get any kinks in it. It looks like a pretty good hose. Right, now I need to weave my way closer to where I'm going um, so I don't have to walk so far I made a kink in it <laughs> oh my goodness I'm glad it's a decent hose pipe though there's a tree in the way <sighs> okay let's keep going in the sheep's water there's meant to be three sheep, but I suspect the others are all in the paddock over there keeping cool, which is what I would be doing. You coming in? Oswald? Um, You're already in there, aren't you? Yeah. You see them little holes? That's where they like to hide out in. It's probably a water bowl or something. What's that? Oh, that lives in the holes. A water vole that lives in a hole. You come in? What is it? It's like a little oh. moly mousy thing. Yeah, they'll be coming soon. Um, anything on there? Mm, see, the thing is, it's hard to see because the water's actually quite murky, isn't it? It's quite high for this time of the year. Uh, Nothing. No. Make sure you put the rocks back where you found them, Harry. For the wildlife. Oh, the wildlife. You can try. There's a little pot of fish food. There's a couple of little pots. Any of them? One that's not got too much in it. Okay. Got some, have you? Three. See if they're going to come and. I oh, see it's all come out now. That's the only problem. I'm going to put the fish food in and see if you can entice something. No. Maybe cool fish? Maybe you could just catch a fish. Maybe if you put some in your net and then left your net in the water, they might swim in. Yep. You okay. put it like that. Yep. Thank you. And they, maybe they'll swim in for the food, but we just have to wait until we see a fish. You look very bright in your bright top, Ozzy. Thank you. <laughs> there seems to be glowing treasure down here. What is it? Oh, it's a sweetie wrapper. It looked like treasure, didn't it, under the water? It was glowing. And we can put it in there for a little bit. We just have to be careful it doesn't get too hot and die. So we just got to keep an eye on how hot the water gets. What Try to create some it? shade. Wow, crayfish. What? I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. Good job. Just watch his pincers and don't hurt him. I'll try not to. He seems more confused. Yeah, here you go. He probably is confused because he can't get out. 
I'm swimming. Yeah. Can I see? Why are you trying to pick him He's up? He's trying to pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, but don't yeah. hurt him because he's a does living creature. Like when he pinches you. If he pinches you, it does, yeah. Fish yeah, I think. Of yours. There he I is. Pick him up then. Aww. Don't want to keep him out of the water too long. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Mm. Oh, Careful with the pinches. Should we show Aaron and Ryan? Aaron, Aaron and Ryan, look. Oh God! No, no. Oh God! I'm not. <laughs> That'll be a no then. <laughs> there we are. Scary. I'll just put that over to keep him a bit of shade. Scary. Kenzie's being very ingenious. I like, I like, He's I like using the net again. to put the bucket in, <laughs> so he can get more water. Works. There you go. Well done, Kenzie. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll still, change, still cold, yeah, we'll change some of the water if it oh, gets a bit warm. You. Good job. Whoops. Aaron's waiting for fish to climb into his net, aren't you? Good job. That's very patient. Yeah, catch it quick. See, Aaron is waiting with his net in the water. Kenzie is having an awesome time. It's really nice to see him enjoying his last bit of his childhood before he becomes a big grown-up. I've got a nice chicken salad. The boys have got onion rings. Oh, oh, and Kenzie's got a burger. It's onion ring. Please ask Harry if it can get his food. Yeah, I have. Hello. Where's Harry's food? You're very wet. Do you want a drink? Definitely. Catching a lot more fish. What, than you did when you were little? Oh, yeah, I'm getting fish like almost every... How you share? Yeah, each Please. scoop. Uh, there you go, boys. To hop. Kenzie looked like you got giant muscles when that floated up. Like a balloon. Yeah, it all puffs up. This is nice, but I Best thing to do at 30 degrees, isn't it, Kenzie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a minute, sweetie. I lost my net. I dropped it in the rapids. And it vanished. I have no idea where it went. Which is a bit annoying because that's not good for wildlife. <laughs> Did you catch a fish in your mouth, Kenzie? We've had an amazing time in the river. It's now gone five o'clock, it's about half five and we've come home. Um, I'm hot. I have actually had a shower because I had to put dry clothes on so I thought I'm just gonna jump in the shower and do that. Um, the kids are chilling with picky food. It's too hot to cook anything and they did have chips and onion rings at lunchtime. I have somehow lost my glasses unless they are back when I was doing the dogs earlier on, which I really don't think they are. That is my final hope but I'm pretty certain I had them before well I'm pretty certain I had them on in the car driving to where we've just been and I couldn't they've not been on the grass anywhere they're not in any of the bags so I'm at an absolute loss the pubs had a look around they can't see them either so the only thing I can think of is that I've pushed them up onto my top of my head at some point to do something and then they've fallen in the river and I've not noticed I'd normally notice them falling off my head but it's the only thing I can think of because I just cannot find them that's so 400 pounds worth of glasses gone anyway these are my spares which are exactly the same as the others except for the the lenses don't tint and i've got my sunglasses that emma got me for my birthday actually she replaced them because i lost the other ones within about 24 hours as well it says something about me doesn't it i wonder if i can double up on glass oh okay see i could double up on glasses and make these uh 
what do you call it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Nothing surprises him. Makes these um, lens, you know, what are they? Prescription. These have now become prescriptions and sunglasses. I'll find a way. And then look, that are for not prescription. Well, they are prescription, but not sunglasses. Why didn't I think of doing that before? That's a damn sight cheaper than 400 pounds. No, lovely, but I'm obviously gonna have to replace them because I do need spare glasses and these wear my spare glasses. So this will do for now. It's just gone nine o'clock. My parents have met me here at the house for a cup of tea, the house that I'm looking after the animals, but not staying at. Um, so I'm hanging out here with the dogs for probably, well, I've made myself a cup of tea, so probably at least another half an hour and then I will put them to bed. And then I'll be back here tomorrow at about half six, probably. I think leaving it till seven will be too late. I mean, I've done the sheep water. I've, I mean, I might be able to get here at seven, <laughs> to be honest, because the chickens have still got food and they've still got water. I've checked on them just now. Um, the sheep have still got water and they're grazing, so I don't need to feed them any additional. Um, so it's really just the cats and the dogs. And I do need to walk the dogs. So quiet. Oh, the dogs found one of the cats. It's okay. Leba. She's probably coming looking for a dinner. Um, yeah, so I'm just, yeah, just sitting in the garden. You can see he's in the process of building this area. The dog keeps walking past the water bowl, which she has tipped over several times because they're tethered because they can't be let loose. There's too many areas for them to get out and there is a road over there. Um, but she keeps walking past the water bowl and hoiking it up. There's no water left in it now. It just makes a big old banging noise every time she moves it. So, what was I saying? Yes, uh, glasses, did I say? So yes, this was the last place that I thought maybe I might have put the glasses. I've come to the conclusion now that at some point earlier on today, I pushed the glasses up like this, which I often do when I'm in the middle of trying to do something and I can't see very well because they've gone reactor. Um... <laughs> Quiet, leave them alone. Um, and what I've done is I've pushed it up on my head and I can only think that I've then gone in the water and they've fallen off into the water and I've not noticed. How I've not noticed, I don't know, but I'll be honest with you, you know, I was at the river with several kids, quite manic, you know, carrying things, juggling things. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, the only other thing is when did I go and get the... Did I take them off when I went into the shed earlier? I can't remember if I took them off when I went into the shed. I don't know. I think I had them on my head. I think I took them off when I brushed my hair because I was brushing my hair and it kept knocking them like that. And I took them off. And then I assume I put them back on my head because they're not at home. So... It's 400 pounds i mean i know you get two pairs for 400 pounds but these had reflecty lenses and they had um anti-glare so that there's no reflection when i'm vlogging so what i'm saving on spog because the news on spog is that the turbo uh should have arrived by now and i was hoping spog would be done today because then i could just sleep here in the van but uh, he hasn't, so I will not be sleeping here in the van, but I might tomorrow if he comes back tomorrow. And, yeah, um, what I'm saving on not spending on Spog, I am going to have to spend some on glasses. I'm just glad I'm in a, you know, sl slightly better financial situation with these jobs happening. Um... And I have got a £100 tax rebate to come back to me. So that can go towards my glasses. I'm just going to have to order some more. I might have to ring them tomorrow and order. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Even if the others do randomly turn up, it wouldn't hurt to have a spare anyway. But I wonder if I did take them off in the shed. I can't imagine I did. Because if I took them off in the shed, because I wouldn't have been able to see is what I'm thinking. I wouldn't be able to see in the dark bits in the shed. But I can't think where I would have put them in the shed. And I think I went to the shed to get the big bucket for the fish when we went fishing before I brushed my hair. 
I'm just waffling to you now, aren't I? It's been four and a half minutes of me waffling. Anyway, I'm going to drink my tea, put these guys to bed, and then go home and see my family. I'll see you lovely lot tomorrow.